In order to have quarterback success, simple play design is essential. Today, we're talking about 6061 Yogi from my Tampa Bay Buccaneers playbook, otherwise known as the Y option. It's a staple in the West Coast offense, and it's coming up right now in quarterback training. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Elite Athletes TV. I'm Mike Pulaski. If you like the content that I've been putting out, please subscribe to the channel. If you're a first-time viewer, hit the bell. That way, every time we have new content coming out, you get notified. Also, please leave me a comment down below. I would love to answer any questions you have about the game. I want to teach football. Give us a thumbs up if you like what we're doing here. And right now, I want to talk about a simple play concept. It is an absolute staple in the West Coast system. Bill Walsh used to run it a ton with Joe Montana, with Dwight Clark, with the tight ends they had through that 49er system. But quarterbacks throughout the years have used this play. In the Tampa Bay Buccaneers playbook, which I'm about to show you, it's called the 60-61 Yogi. We'll get into the numbers uh, in a second. That's all about pass protection. But the Yogi is the Y option play. Essentially, you're giving your tight end a green light to go downfield and work to get open against a linebacker or against a, a nickel player, secondary player inside. As a quarterback, this is one of those plays where if as long as you're protected, you know you can get back there, lock into your tight end, expect him to get open, and then you got a couple options on the outside. There's also options pre-snap if you see a look you like. But right now, let's take a look at the playbook. I'll draw it up for you, and we'll get a sense of what it means when we talk about Y option. There you can see Tampa Bay Buccaneers playbook, like I was talking about, 60-61 Yogi, in this case, it's 61. And the reason it's 61 in this case, our back is going left. And so this is a slide protection. In a slide protection, your back, in this case, is going to have a dual read. So he's going to have whatever linebacker's in here and whatever linebacker is on the end. In this case, he's blocking weak. So that would be, in Sam's offense, the peg. It could be the bill. We've talked about this several times. Whatever you call your weak side inside backer. So he'll have a dual read. Your tackle will stay big on big if he has a tackle here. Uh, or if there is a, a uh, will linebacker, say they're playing cover two, the, he knows the will's going to come. You'll stick to him and you'll declare Mike to get the back on the next two, what they call MDM, most dangerous men, to block up in that protection. And then from your first uncovered lineman, you're going to slide to pick up pass rush. So that's for another video. It's all about pass protection. But just know this is a slide protection with the F in, in this case, the fullback in the backfield here in Sam's offense. The short that you see here in the 61 Yogi, all pass protections in Sam's offense were designed as seven step drops to start. If it was not going to be a seven-step drop, if it was a seven-step, you'd see seven-step denoted right here. It'd say seven-step, but it's not. In this case, it's short. So a short drop meant a five-step drop. This is a timing drop or what some coaches are calling a rhythm drop these days, meaning your quarterback can drop, hit five, plant that foot in the ground, and let it go to that tight end. If we had a three in front of it, Obviously, it would be a three-step drop. And so that's how he denoted his, his pass protections, and that's how he worked him when I was down with Tampa. You can see down here, Sam was a pure progression guy. And so your first read in the progression is your quick. The Q right here, right here, right here, and you got a lot of them in this route, are your quicks. That's what a lot of offenses will call your hot throws or your side adjusts. You have your hots on the outside, your cues on the outside, in case you get some kind of secondary blitz coming off the outside. So you would have a nickel player or a, or a uh, safety over the top here. So say this is a nickel player coming on that blitz. The safety over the top wouldn't be able to get there in time, and so that's your quick. You could replace him with the ball. Same thing on the backside. If you were to get a weak side blitz, say your free safety rolled down and he came off the edge, you could throw your quick here because you wouldn't have any kind of coverage over the top. It wouldn't be tight press on that man. And so that was the design of it. You also have the quick here. If you get a double dog on the inside and your back can't pick up both, you can hit your quick inside to the tight end. He's going to look on this initial inside release. He's going to look right there if he sees blitz coming or dog coming from the two linebackers in the middle. And then 
if he does, he's going to look for that ball right now on the quick throw from the quarterback. But let's say, all things being equal, no blitz, playing straight defense. What are we going to read as a quarterback? Well, as I talked about, we're going to drop back five steps. On that five-step drop, our tight end is going to take that inside release. So they're talking about a potential Sam Backer. He's going to inside release that Sam Backer. He's going to get up to about 10 yards, and then he has the option of turning any direction. You can see all these. He can turn in, turn out. He can break out. He can break in, depending on what they're playing. If they are playing some kind of man, or excuse me, some kind of zone, that Sam Backer's coming, strong safety's in here, and then you're going to have your Mike Backer and your Peg, because you got a 3-4. Will Backer will be back down here. So this guy's coming. Now your tight end gets to work this window between those two players. So what he is likely to do is as this mic drops, he's going to try to collision him because he's going to play hook to curl. The tight end will likely break down, use a what they used to call the flipper or a pressure release, give him that elbow, turn out, and look for the ball for the quarterback. As a quarterback, you throw him open. So you throw that ball to his outside hip, away from Mike Linebacker where he created that separation, and it's pitch and catch, easy completion. Same thing if that backer over-pursues or if you have some kind of window in here where he's got to work off another safety, a nickel player, or another backer inside, he can pressure release here and come back into the inside as well. So that's a bang-bang sit-down. Those sit-downs are versus zone. Now, if you get some kind of man coverage where he's going to be over the top with a safety or another backer, maybe it's a Sam backer. Now he has the option of, as he hits the top of his route, to again, give that pressure release, but run away. Knowing that you have man coverage, runaway routes are great versus man. So he can run away, he can break it to the inside, he can run away, he can break it to the outside. And essentially, for a quarterback and a tight end, this is just playing street ball. He's going to run down, get open. It's like, hey, run to the bumper of that car, break in, and I'm going to throw it to you. Or run to the bumper of that car, shake him, get open, and I'm going to throw you the ball. And so that's essentially what this play is. It is super old school football, super easy. Now, if they are playing some kind of zone, and you have a strong safety in here, or a corner in here, because that's your last receiver on the outside, and this DB doesn't honor the H in the flat, you're trying to leverage whatever player this is, that flat defender. If he sucks right here to this right now, then you can always throw that as an option on that high-low read to that side. But again, in that progression system, right, you throw your quicks. If you're quick, you don't have to throw quick because there's no pressure. You have your Y option, halfback flat. So that's 1-1-A one, one in that combination. Then, because it times out, you've got the X hook on the backside, 16 yards. So you've hit your fifth step. You don't like this. Say the linebacker's got him locked up. Linebacker held him. And let's say strong safety jumped this. So those are both out of the picture for you. Now you take one more hitch up and you let it go to this hook. Come back to that hook. If you don't like that hook, then this is just a high-low read. And if you didn't watch my video, I've got a high-low video uh, about the high-low read, all talking about the hook. I will put the card up in the top left of the screen here and you can check it out. So you just work this high-low read on whatever flat defender you have over here, whether it's a corner and cover two or whether it's a uh, will linebacker buzzing out to the flat and you work your high-low read off of him. If he stays low, throw the hook. If he gets width and gets height, then you throw that quick out to the Z on the inside. If all else breaks down as a quarterback, you don't like your Yogi, you don't like your halfback flat, you don't like this combination over here because it got taken away or somebody falls down. Your back is going to check. So he's got that linebacker check. And then he's going to trickle through. So check through. And as a quarterback, if all else fails, and when you get in trouble, I've mentioned it before, you let your eyes drop. You bring your eyes down, and that guy should be there for you. With all that looking downfield, these linebackers should be out of here. This guy is probably taken up because you didn't throw that one. This linebacker is going to drop out looking for anything to cover in the flat. And so underneath you have that fullback check through. So it makes it super easy for a quarterback to check down. You can get through this progression super quickly. It's about two hitches and you can get that ball off to that fullback check through if you need to. 
And now you see down below, you got short 61 Yogi pair. In this case, the Yogi pair, what that means is they're going to switch assignments. So you're going to have Tiger personnel here. Tiger personnel is two tight ends. So this would be what you would consider 12 personnel here. One back, two tight ends. And so that's 12 personnel. And this is going to be a tight. This is going to be a tight. You're going to switch assignments. Your Y is now going to run your quick out. And your, a guy who's in that H-back position, but he's really a tight end, is going to run the Yogi on the inside. Same thing holds true on the backside. You have that hook to check down to. And so it's all the same read for a quarterback, but it's a different look for a defense. If they get hit with that Yogi several times and all of a sudden they're expecting this guy to get vertical and he shoots out, now you may get a seam inside for that Yogi to run. Then you can switch it up again. Now Yogi angle, the angle part, is this route combination out here. This is really just a smash. Smash concept. Hitch in the flat, corner over the top. So that's a smash route. And then you have the Yogi inside. If you like it right away, if you see man coverage, boom, you can pop that corner, take your shot. If you don't like that, then you're still on five steps. One hitch, you can come back inside to your Yogi, same read as you had on every other version of this Yogi up above. If everything else fails, this guy is going to come inside and then find a way to get open, find open space, and you're going to run the high-low game with your fullback on the check swing and your X on a little get open on the backside, a little smash get open. So you can see the Yogi Y option, simple route for a quarterback to read. Joe Montana, Brett Favre, all those West Coast guys made a killing on this play over the course of their career. If you love what I'm doing, play design, drawing up plays, looking at college game film, please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell. That way you get notified every time we have new content coming out. Give me a thumbs up if you understand the yogi now or if you enjoy breaking down plays. And I would love a comment so I can answer all of your questions. I like to help young quarterbacks, young coaches understand the game better. I feel like that's my job here at Elite Athletes TV as a quarterback coach, and I want to help you too. Thanks for watching today. I appreciate you coming in and checking out quarterback training.